yo yo. Um, Maddie, which one of these is it? I'm. I mean, it could be any of them. He's he's not a very good designer. It really could be any of them. What's it actually called? Yo yo river. No, yo ho. Ah, I'll have to name the rename it afterwards. Ah, yo ho river. Again, I'm still. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Which one? Let's go with the top one. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Now, has Matty filled out a form? He has, and it does say Yoho River. That's my fault. Um, what tees would you like to be judged from? Back tees. Any further conditions is a must. Medium to high wind. <laughs> Fuck you, Matty. Northeast. Default settings. Green can play 187 if desired. No, do not desire. Um, are there any key design features? I wonder which. Bunker mounting mimics the mountain ranges on hole 4, 7, 9, and 12. I will have a look at those. Routing and sequencing of holes is heavily influenced by Banff Springs. Lovely. Love that course. Course is an homage to Stanley Thompson. Awesome. Love him. Uh, me Intended difficulty. Medium. Tougher CC. Elite depending on conditions. Banff Springs. Jasper Park. Which three required elements? Three shot par five. Okay, it's so interesting to see we've got that one twice, uh, which is the third. A template hole of your choice, the par, the punch bowl on eight, and at least five par three holes. Excellent. Let's leap in and give this one a go then. So, Matty has said, did you say black tees or back tees? I see back tees, damn it, he's got stuff right. Uh, and let's go with pin three for this one. We are going to go medium, I'm not going high winds. Not good enough. Um, and did he suggest a wind direction northeast? What a guy! Let's give this go. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I feel like Matty is someone who's gotten better and better and better. Um, loved one of his opening courses with Shoreditch, um, which hey, some had some slightly rough edges, and PGA guys went a little bit nuts about it. But that's great. If you're pissing off the PGA, you're doing a good job. And then his little lake loop, which is what's just got him an exemption into the World Cup, is very similar, I think quite similar in style to this one, and was a great play. Plus it was reversible, which was cool. So let's go for a little fly around, because he doesn't get to do this all that often, because I think he designs on PS4. So we've got this giant big hotel, which fits the resort sort of course thing. I like how you've done the rocks. I'm not sold on the little splashes of pine straw or mulch, but we'll see how that actually looks. Uh, it's interesting. I don't think I mind it here. Huh. I don't really see it that much. Some swimming pools and stuff. Putting green. I like your nicely little planted trees around the clubhouse. That's cool. We've he's I mean he's got an area for the greenskeepers and the superintendents, that's really important, as we know. We've got a waterfall, of course we have. Uh gonna depend how we see that, but yeah, we could be layering that a little bit better. Done nicely here. The one that matters, I think you've done really well, so I'm gonna withhold judgment on that. It's really tricky to do the waterfalls because they just totally come out of nowhere and then run away. Hmm. Oh, I like the big river. But couldn't. Why has it done this? Okay, that's fine. Tell you what, I love the feel for this course already. I it's kind of like a the pine straw I'm not um or mulch I'm not sold on, but I wonder if that's just because of the zooming out stuff. Look, I'm I'm really all in on the feel of this course. It's it does feel kind of unique, which I like. And what I do like is it feels natural. You haven't taken a river and cut it in with millions of different creeks, which, hey, I might well have done. 
um, you just put it in one place and you're going to use it as a big focal point when it matters I presume back nine kind of comes down this way which I think will work really well let's see how we go so big opening vista great first tee shot I like where you've cut the fairway yeah I like that you've just used where the surface is cut as a hazard that's cool not enough people do that and I'm gonna try and hug as far right as I can and yeah we've done okay <laughs> yes not being saddled with the Swiss, Swiss grass is important you say these plays at one, play at 187 do you? Well, I will tell you right now there are going to be some of these bunkers that work for me and some of them that don't and just look a little bit too ATT but I will also say that there are I get that that's the style and I know that you've been faithful to it mmm oh no I need a fast please get over that spine oh it might and all The look is really cool. I'm not sure if the grass is a little too yellow, but I I don't know. I'm totally... No, I think I'm wrong there. Come on, roll a putt in. Damn it, Ben. I mean, if you're telling me these greens can play at 187, I'll believe you, but that would, that would drive people nuts. Really cool skyline fairway here. This you've done exactly as you intended it to. That green site's really cool. We'll talk about the bunker when we get down. Oh good, 187 is tough. Thank you. I'm sure it is. I love that you put it in there as judging conditions though. Now, the bunkering. What I love is the layering. I love this deception bunker at the front. That's awesome and you've nailed it. Um, some of these, I think it's just kind of a technical thing. They look, they are so almost there. The problem is that the surface is going, ah, I'm trying to get just to where I want it to be. So you see how the surface is kind of hitting the crest of the hill? It looks like it's just, you can see the land we can't really see behind it and it's like the surface is the top layer or top line. That's when it starts working a little less well. Now is this one of your ones where it's mimicking the peaks behind it? Because if so, you've softened this a hell of a lot and it looks really good. Uh, oh no it's not. 4, 7, 9 and 12. I was going to say. Good green. Love that this falls front to back. Love the sight line to the next. I have really enjoyed this hole. Just very nicely done, Matty. Good stuff. Yeah, totally the wrong club. Well, it's not where I want to leave myself, is it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, oh, smash that, haven't I? Bunkers in this game are tricky. Or at least, I've only started doing a couple this afternoon on that Sea Island collab. I'm working with Matt, and so those are different again and then the sand belt ones were I'm never doing bunkers like that again but it's just a bit different Ooh, this is your three shot par five isn't it First off, I love what you've done with light and shadow. I love the position of this tree, whether you're getting the sun sort of peeking through, sort of not. That's really cool. And I don't think that will have been by accident, so well done, because that's really nice. 
I do feel the. Mm, I like. Th I, I keep changing my mind on this. I feel like it looks a little bit too busy, but equally I like that it looks a lot more dangerous than maybe it is. I think that's quite cool. Then again, this camber's a bastard. Hopefully just sling it through. <laughs> Three shot par five, you say, Matty? Ah, balls. So it's definitely reachable, but it's designed as a three shot par five. I am I'm teasing. This is absolutely fine. Um and a good green. A green that makes me regret having just gone for it. From the inside of the bunkers it's well sculpted. Which is tough given how they are. I mean there are bits that I can see that like you can see that the sand is, like here is kind of protruding out a little bit and it just takes a lot of raised brush work but for the most part it's really good. Where you're struggling is where it's just a little bit m more narrow than really anyone can work with but it's it's really good. I loved some of the slopes on this green because I am 20 feet away and I am not making birdie. Not making par. Absolutely smashed that. Forgot I was coming down such a big slope. Oh no, we're okay. <laughs> uh, so this is the one that Im is mimicking. Oh, what's this? Is the one that's mimicking the mountain range. I don't know. It looks a little quirky to me. Still, I get what you're going for. I really do. Um, not personal taste. What I, uh, what I do think is that the bunkers maybe dominate this hole a little too much. Yeah. I don't. I don't dislike it. Planting's really good as ever. Love the little the little trees you're chucking in here are great. Um, the heather's nicely clumped. Could maybe lose one clump of it. Probably a bit here. Maybe lose that, and then you've got more of a clean sightline through. Keep the stuff there. Maybe a tiny bit much, but we're nitpicking. I would love to see the river in the background if that were at all possible, but yeah. I can see why you can't. Yo, 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 it's yo ho, but I'm an idiot. It did mean that we got to see some really fun courses called yo yo. Which didn't look like Matty had designed them, but we teased him as if they had. I like the false front. I think that works really well because you've given me this parallel slope to bump it off, so had I not been quite so greedy and played a little bit more conservatively it's actually a, like I say conservatively I could risk hitting that slope and go over it and leave a nasty putt like j it just gives me a couple of options how to play this uh, oh I hate these shots because I if I hit a lob wedge splash we're gonna go way too far because that's just what I do eh. Better than I thought. Hey, Matt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, hole five. Ah, the Shoreditch template. I like the camber, it's bold. I think for this pin, I probably want to be down the left hand side. But I don't think it's the be-all and end-all. I 
I do like this bunker protecting here. So I could go three wood and bumble on down, or I can take driver. I like this one a lot. I am certain you will get people telling you that the sculpting is too bold or whatever. That it's nonsense. Like it's really good. And I mean, yes, it is bold, but it's fine. Ah, uh, let's go in that heavy rough. But we've got the angle. Um. Hmm. Seventy-three. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Go just a little. Oh, you tease, Matty. Hmm. We're not playing this whole well. Um, really enjoyed that one. I thought that was well designed. I thought the green was subtly done and yet made sense. This is another hole where I feel the scaling on the bunkers is just maybe a bit too big. They kind of dominate a little bit, which I think is the idea. I think they're well done. Oh, hello, green. What the actual fuck, Matty? <laughs> and this this one this can be played at one eight sevens, can it? <laughs> Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's a good short four. Right, I need a full wedge in. 390, 44 down. Uh, okay. <laughs> the flag is vertical. What is wrong? You are not the one. You are not the one swinging the golf club. This is true. Hmm. Easy hole. <laughs> that is the rule. As if that's the hole we've gotten a birdie on. Um, I'll be interested to see where all four pins are. Yeah, again, same same comment. I get the peak thing. I just think it looks a bit odd. Or it might just be the sculpting of like where you put the surface. If you take the bunker texture in just to here, let the land be behind it, like kind of how you've got your fingers. As long as the bunker texture isn't like the furthest thing, I think it works. Fun sculpting here. So is this an out and back? Pretty much. Hmm. Oh, hello, the next hole. I... Hmm. Kind of need to look back. It is. Good. I don't know if I love being blind from here when I'm not sure how much of a chance there is to shoot this gap. But... I do like this approach a ton though, and this is really good. I just wish I could, I would love to see this. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm more meaning like being at, like, mm, I guess the typical shot holding the fairway. It's like a balance thing. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the same with what I'm saying about the what you call them mimicking the mountains and stuff I have no doubt that he does it um, it's more a comment of I. that's kind of why I wanted people to do the form I, I get that this is a thing personally it's not to my taste but I appreciate that you've imitated that really well like this this is a really really good imita imitation of the devil's cauldron and love the punch bowl Love that it drains. Simple green. 
annoying wind. Burner will talk to you about your tea box, but I could I could care so much less. This I remember seeing this on stream and it wasn't quite there. I'm really glad you went back and edited it because this is perfect. And I can't remember what it was that a couple of people picked up on, but this is gold. Now come on, just fade around a little bit. <laughs> it's playable on 187s. Sure it is, Matty. That's what it was. Well, you've absolutely nailed it here, buddy. Hmm. Very, very tentative part there. And in all honesty, this was the hole you had to nail. So, like, great. Love it. Huh. Long par four. I like where you put this pin. I will say, for the most part, the bunkering doesn't overwhelm me, and I think the bunkering is generally pretty well done. Occasionally it gets a little bit big for me. But for the most part, I think it's really tastefully done. Like, this is a really cool look. Jeez, you've gotten a lot better. Compare this to Ergo Pogo. I'm like... Now, come on, take that slope. Because I love, I love that you've given me the option of running it and just... Like playing into an area and go funnel down this slope and make life really easy for myself. Like even though we've run off the green. Oh, I can't take the bloody flag stick out. It's just so predictable. <laughs> Nine's good. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but it's good. Yeah, this is one where I feel the bunkers overwhelm it a bit. And I get that that's a look and a feel. I think all I can see is sea of bunkers rather than... It's just distracting me a little from the strategy and where I want to play it. like the green, I like the really subtle spine and it's flowing one way and then another. I think that's really cool. Yep, this is all good. Okay. And I love the amount of width you've given us. So we're going to club way down. Mm, no. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I would like this lie to be maybe a touch flatter, but that's just because I'm standing on it, I think. Oh, come on, wind, take it back. Not bad. Oh, I've given that way too much respect. Tell you what, it's a really, really engaging course. I I am totally wrapped up in my round and gets a unique look. Here we go. I feel like this has maybe that front right bunker is a little too much but otherwise i think this one works really well i don't feel the bunkers dominate this in the way that some of the others did and i think that's because you've given a bit of space between them so if you look at where we're at and the f and the front whereas we had was it not this one yeah thinking of four maybe three three
wonder whether we're overusing the spine just a touch. I do love it, but we've had a few greens with it. Depends how many more we get down the stretch. It's one of those things I'm now just like paying a little bit of notice for. Mm, Overhit that, I think. Yeah, a little bit. This is Matthews. It's really good. Right, on to 12. Wait, do I have any more coming down the stretch that I've got to be paying attention to? No, just the three, um, the par threes. I think one of these two you could have lost. Probably this one. That's a fun drive though. <laughs> uh, don't know, got a, to be honest I'm going to have to play them all a little bit more to... I don't really think I can tell after one playthrough. And if I did I'd be pretty much doing dark designs a little bit of a disservice. Oh, that's just a rubbish shot. What I will say is it's not going to be an easy choice. Like, there's so many good ones. I haven't played a course that's underwhelmed me yet. Well, yes, it's got bunkers everywhere. Of course he does. I get what we're doing. I when I'm playing this next, I'm not sure we've had that many slopes like this at all so far. So my question is going to be to what extent it kind of fits with the rest of the course. But it's a really well done hole. I like the slope. It's just kind of throwing me a little bit because it's very very stark and I just don't know we've seen that many. But, really nicely done sightline. What I love about this is it's just simple. And the triangular shaped green is perfect. So yeah, good job. Oh, let's go check one of these bunkers, it's been a while. Very 187 friendly pin. <laughs> hey, JC. Oh. Is there an official list of Dream Team courses you can see somewhere? Yeah, I think I've done a. I've done some of them in thread. Um, let me dig it up for you. Might take a minute. Uh, I think I've got to upload, update it with one more. You said it was legal, not enjoyable. Fair. Okay. <laughs> oh, Matty. Ah, so now we bring the river in. You know what? I haven't missed the river so far. Like, And I feel like it's going to be really coming into play on all these last holes. And I really like that you've done that and just not used it at all. I'd have maybe given a little hint of it beforehand. But I'm okay that you haven't. Well, this isn't friendly. I feel like I don't mind being in one of these bunkers. Didn't really want to be in this one, but that's okay. Yeah. That one's nicely done. Yeah, he's done he's done everything really well, actually. I think 
more than anything, this is one of those courses where I'm going to say you've nailed everything you set out to achieve, which is tough. Ah, these are the trees you might have wanted to chainsaw, right? Can we go over this one? And like hit a fade? Tempting, isn't it? Hmm, that's the gap we were going for, definitely. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of different ways you could play that t-shirt, it's quite fun. Mountain in the backdrop is really nicely done, just how it's peeking through. Hey Andre! And yep. I'm really enjoying this one. It's gone... Okay, load of width. Long par 4? Long par 4. Okay. Yeah, makes sense with... I think you've done... Uh, yeah, I think you've done fairway hazarding, fairway width, green... Really carefully given the length of the hole. I presume we can bound it down and I've only really just noticed all the straight lines. I think it works quite well. Hmm. It's not gonna be great, is it? Oh okay. That went better than I thought it would do. Ah, it's toying between the two clubs. Well, this is going to be my last one, fellas. I'm going to play the last two holes, and then it's um, time to fall asleep and watch Rams probably lose again. But this has been really enjoyable. I'm going to do another couple tomorrow night, and then I'm almost on top of them. Um, I've got about four or five left. <sighs> okay, long, long, long par three. Shared load of bunkers. Be honest. I'll be honest. I don't love this pin position on this one. I just don't know. Sloping wise, if you've given me a way to get it close, I, I, if the green flowed this way, I think I would be all for it. I'm not saying I don't like it necessarily. I just think hmm, maybe other ways we could do it. It is a bit of a Dario pin. Oh. The slow is not what we wanted. Still, we've opened up the green, right? <laughs> Eight iron splash. Definitely the shot. Jesus, Ben. Well, this was definitely a bogey hole. So close. That's okay. Yeah, the wind direction didn't help this one. But I do think, I, I mean, we've now seen, having looked at the last course, and one of the things I'll always do if people... Oh, controller's just run out of juice. One sec. If people do pick those, like, the required element of all the par threes, or just generally, let's have a little look at them. The one thing I do feel with these is that they've been really balanced, and you look at 170, 205, 195, 136, 238. Nice. Just makes sense. I see what you mean about the finish. Yeah, that's proper fuck you territory. Nice. The hotel's really cool. The waterfall's really cool. Ah, the controller has definitely run out of battery. One second. Um, the river's really good. I like that you've used the river more as like visual backdrop than necessarily anything else. Good final green. Bunkering here I think really does suit an 18th. And we're probably going to go and find one now. Oh no, we're going to find heavy rough. Even better. Uh, 
that has just bumped one down there and hopefully pitch and putt for a par. Slight slow but yeah we're alright. Hey. Yeah, I mean I really enjoyed that. There are definitely a few of the things that I would personally not do, and I mean that in both a good and a like less good way. I mean there are things that you did that I don't think I would do that I really, really liked. I loved that you didn't crutch on the river. I thought that worked really well. It was just like there and it worked nicely. I thought some of the deception bunkering was phenomenal. I thought your eighth was just perfect. Um, the par threes generally were a real strength. I thought your three shot par five was good. Um, the things that you wanted judged, I think, were the right ones to choose. They made real sense and worked well. The longer par fours were tastefully done. They weren't too punchy. Um, what else might I mention? Hmm. So yeah, the bunker mounding wasn't really one of those things that I liked. But I see why you did it. I thought occasionally the bunkers were a little bit overbearing, but again, I see why you did it. Greens were really good. I wouldn't personally put them above the default speed, but I can see how they would be playable. Planting was really nice. I think it's a great look for Swiss. The grasses, as Dan mentioned earlier on, really do make this and help you pull off a look that we wouldn't have been able to do in the last game. Um, just a really fun course as well. Like I enjoyed everything. And I didn't think there was a weak hole. Like definitely there are a few things that I, ch I would have changed, but I didn't think there was a weak hole and I was engaged the whole way through. Which, hey, we don't we don't get all that often. So anyway, I really hope that helped. Um, sorry I called the stream yo-yo. Um, my mistake. It's, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, um, that's it for this evening. I'm going to do some more playthroughs tomorrow and probably around about the same time. So yeah, hopefully see you guys then and have a really good Sunday evening. Take care, everybody.